Welcome Year 10 Health to your next, obviously, lecture to help you get through all of these templates that you have online. Um, obviously, as you can read, this template is the analysis to current resources on mental health template. Now, this template is designed for you guys to analyse current resources that are out there for people to access um, if they're trying to improve their mental health or if they're struggling for mental health. So depending on um, the individual you are and the primary data you have taken um, depends on the focus of this template. But um, the idea of this template is so that you guys can analyse a minimum of seven different resources that are in current existence. So somebody has already created these resources and then from this template in your next template you will pick one and apply it to yourself so this template should be all based around youth and adolescents and more importantly yourselves individually okay so just make sure you've got that in the back of your mind that it's all about these resources in terms of youth and adolescents and then also think about yourself individually um, especially in this last column which i'll go through um, later on all right, so to start with, obviously, all the way over in the first column, as we can see, it says resource. So all you need to do is put the resource that you are looking at in there. So my example that I'm doing right now is um, Happify, the app. Um, so that's a phone application or an iPad application. It can also be on Android or Apple. So it's an application for any phone. Um, now, moving on to the next column. I'm asking you guys to put in the strengths of the resource. So what do you think from reading about it, analyzing it, not using it. So you're not, I'm not asking you to go and use the app. What I'm asking you to do is go and research the app. What does it do? What's its purpose? What is it designed for? Who is it designed to help? And then I want you to tell me the strengths of that resource. Now, for me, and this is just a very quick looking at it so that I can give you guys an example, I found that the strength of this resource is that it had an emphasis on fun. It chose guided pathways so that you could choose, so the individual who wanted to use the app was able to choose those. And then also it um, designed to remove stress from an individual's life. That was its purpose generally. Now, I think that those are um, important features of the app and its strengths. But reminder, I think they're the strength that it is useful for youth. Now, if I was doing this for myself, who's no longer a youth, it might not be those strengths. I might find other strengths in it. So reminder, you're always tracking back to the strengths uh, for youth and adolescents. All right, so now when we're looking at our weaknesses here, um, the weaknesses I found in the app is that it costs money to download the full version, so you can only get part of the version for free, which is a potentially significant problem for all use. Um, it doesn't suit everybody's needs um, as it has an emphasis on fun and the guided pathways are only um, in specific genres and a lot of those times those genres are more adult friendly I think in terms of looking at work and their guiding pathways through like work stress and career stress not necessarily school stress or um, just a general individual stressor. All right. And then in your last column, what we're asking you to do is we're asking you to rate from 1 to 10 the likelihood that you would use it and provide an example of why. So I said um, it would be a 7 out of 10, so 10 being the best, 1 being the worst. Um, and I said, as I think it fits the needs that I found from my River of Life template. So the information that I have from my River of Life template, so my barriers and enablers in that template, I think that this app probably... Uh, suits those really well and there's a real need potentially for those to attack some of my weaknesses or my barriers from my river of life so that's why I rated this one so highly now also what I wanted to make sure is that you guys are just not looking at um, phone apps you're also looking at potentially online resources as well so you don't just have to look at phone app applications that uh, help with mental health you can also be looking at websites you can be looking at books you can look at anything so it's just seven different resources so to show that i've gone and found another one so headspace they have their own sort of online platform called um, eSpace or eheadspace um, so that's an online resource i think the strengths of it are it, it's 
accessible on any device due to the fact that it's just on Wi-Fi. Um, there's a person that you can speak to depending on your problem and then they offer a array of support for a lot of different areas, significant different areas actually. But then some of their weaknesses are um, individuals need to reach out on their own so you can't just download the app and secrecy and, and do it on your own, you've actually got to reach out to somebody else um, and it can be really hard to speaking to somebody um, about your problems, it can be quite daunting actually. So for me when I went to rate it I only went rated right a three due to the fact of like some confidence issues. I didn't feel very comfortable in reaching out to another individual. I was more inclined to reach out to an application that doesn't really know me, won't judge me. Um, and then it also doesn't suit my River of Life scaffold in the fact that it's more general. Um, and my River of Life scaffold was really designed in one sort of area where my barriers and enablers were, so it didn't really suit my needs there. Uh, Hopefully this video helps with you breaking down this task and getting it done. Let me know if you have any problems. Reminder, you need seven different resources that you are looking at and this is pretty much the way that you are going to find the resource that you are going to use for your assessment. So from this template, you are going to be using one of these resources when you develop your action plan, which is next week's lessons. So please make sure that you are putting some time into it uh, last thing I need to tell you is that for each of your strengths and your weaknesses, you need to have a minimum of five strengths and five weaknesses per resource that you look at. Um, I've only done three here because I'm only giving you a quick little example. So you guys need to have five each for seven different resources. Okay. Email me if you need any help.